at times I'm going to do situation to fight, okay, where uh, my opponent get grab my arm. But I can lock my hands like this. I can grab my collar, right? Or I can grab my biceps like a rear naked choke like this. Yeah, I think this is the strongest one, right? It's really good, so to defend. And when you grab your, your biceps, actually try to grab your triceps. Like try to go really deep. Don't go shallow because then he can pop your elbow and then stretch your arm right away, okay? So if he really knows what, uh, how to defend the arm bar, uh, how to attack the arm bar, sorry. He's gonna control my leg. And the reason that he controls my leg is to not let me go on top of him, okay? Because when I'm defending the arm here, let go of my leg, I'm like, I can lift my legs up and then I'll scissor my legs so I'll turn to go on top of him, okay? So we gotta learn that too, but before that, I wanna show you just a very simple way for you to skate, okay? So if he's controlling my leg, yeah, first thing I'm gonna do is either grabbing my biceps or holding my collar and putting my biceps over, okay, over my hand, okay? Having my arm over my hand like this. So now I have two grips. Okay, since we're uh, training with the gi, take advantage on grabbing the gi, okay? Like that, all right? Right now I'm gonna do a pass your leg over my hand. I'm gonna control his, uh, his leg right here, so I, I control my biceps and I bring my hand under his uh, his leg, okay, right behind his knee, okay, right on the thigh, you know, right here, okay. So now look, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feel the tension of my arm. So he's gonna start stretching and try to go for the arm bar. I'm gonna really quick undo the the, the with the hand on my biceps and put my elbow as fast as I can to the floor. Okay, I lift like this and I go like, like this. Okay, right away. Once I got here, okay, I'm gonna control his, uh, his hips right here. And this hand, I control his leg. I'll escape my hips and I put my shin inside. So I'll be ready to attack the, the leg drag, okay? So once I'm, I'm here, I'm making the hook with my shin, with my hook right behind his knee, okay? And I'll go with this hand right here that's on top, my left hand, to reach the farther collar. Once I reach the farther collar, I post my foot on the floor, my left foot on the floor, and then I come up. Okay, and now I'm in a good attack. Okay, good position to, to pass his guard. So Mike probably is gonna start stretching the arm, like pushing me out like this, or sitting up. Zach, so if you push the arm like this, I like to put my my forearm over his, his elbow, like this. And I put his elbow in contact with his body, okay? Every time his elbow is out of his body, he can push me really hard, push me hard, like this, okay? But then I can pass the guard. So I gotta do this. Okay, once I do this, I put my shoulder over his shoulder, start passing his guard, and now establish the side control. Okay, again. So Mike, He's gonna get the arm over here. I grab my biceps. Actually, grab your biceps here. Now with this hand, I go inside and grab it here. So with this hand right here, I take the pressure out of my hand. See, put the pressure on my hand. Like, so I'm pushing okay, his, his leg out, okay? Really quick, I'm gonna lift my feet off the mat, even though he's grabbing my legs, okay? Don't worry about that, because we're not, trying to come up. We can, if you don't grab my leg, let go of my leg, man, I can do this. I can rock my body like this, turn, and then I come up like this, okay? But if he's controlling my leg, my, my leg, I go here, look. I'm gonna put my elbow right on the floor really fast, so I go like this. Once I do this, I grab his, his hips, Skate my hips a little bit, put my shin inside, and start going for the leg drag attack. Boom, right here. He's pushing me, using my forearm over his, his arm. Pressure, grab his head, and make sure you keep his arm against his body, okay? And you can put your chest over his forearm here. Does not how try to push me, like, it's really hard for him to use his arm, okay? 
I don't like to do this here, even though it's, it's really good. But when you open his elbow like this, he can start pushing your elbow. Like this, push my, start sitting up and then start recovering the guard. Okay. I go one, two, and I keep smashing his arm here. Try to push my, my elbow right now so he can't, right? Now I establish the side control. Once I feel like that, I establish the side control, then I can start moving, doing something else. And you go into north, south, or play myself to mount, or open the lapel, okay? Do you guys have any questions? So we're gonna work on both. We're gonna work on the leg drag, okay? And on this one, where he's not controlling my legs. So let's say both of his hands are busy, like trying to break my grip. I lift my leg and I'll scissor my leg and I'll turn to him really quick. Once I turn, I need to bring this leg against his shoulder or against his chest. Put your head over my, my head, Mike. See, don't keep your arm like near your face, your hand near your face, because he's still locking you here. So push. Okay, so you take out of the pressure. Go, Mike. Try it. So right now on this one here, if I if I take my elbow out, I just bring my my shoulder to my ear, like shrug, until like I feel my elbow going out. Once my elbow is past this line here, there's no longer armbar. Okay, and now what you need to be careful is this arm right here, because if Mike bring the arm inside, he's gonna get a triangle. Okay. So with the same roll that we did on bottom, we can start stacking, use my knee behind his, his lower back, and put the other knee over his leg. So now I'm ready to get the leg drag or the stack pass. Okay, so I'm blocking him, okay? So once you take the arm out, keep his hand here. And when you grab, don't grab here, okay, like more inside his knee, because then your hand can go inside, can go inside so go here outside of his knee. Try to put my hand inside my Okay? Then you stack him. Don't try to do leg drag here. Okay? So you stack him first. Put your knee right behind his lower back and the other knee over the other leg. Now you're ready to pass here. Okay, there's different passes you can do here. Um, one that's really good to come with this hand here, just like the leg drag we, we did. But it's now we are standing. Go with the deep, left hand deep on his farther collar and sink his, his hips against your, between your, your hips. See that, his hips between my hips. He's gonna start pushing me. I'll do the same thing. Pressure him, okay? Fast. First one again, faster right now, one, two. Yeah, they want the leg drag on bottle, yes, because you can't come up. It's hard to come up, but then like you need to pop your elbow out. Yeah, you just make that get the momentum. So you don't wanna, you go like really quick, elbow on the floor, okay? Even if your arm like goes out, let's say when you go for the arm bar, try to bring your elbow to the floor. Sometimes, he goes like this. I say, when I got here, Mike popped my elbow and break my grip. When I feel that, I go like, I go like this. And I put my elbow on the floor really fast because I have that little, like, half second that I can move my arm inside. Okay. 
question. Sometimes I have a pretty hard time getting my hand under the tie. What do you recommend for that? We go to the next one after you do, okay? I'll show you. All right, let's go. One, two, three. I like to defend the armbar at first like this. I think this is the fastest way. It works gi and no gi. Just doing like a rear naked choke, right? Remember that the arm that he's attacking is the arm that stay on bottom, okay, for the beginners, right? And then if you can put your hand behind the knee, you can start pushing the leg away. So it's gonna be easier for it to escape. Once you push a little bit, it's easier for it to take your elbow out. It, it's very frustrating when you, when you bring the elbow to the floor for the guy who's attacking the armbar. Sometimes they feel like, oh, I have the arm. And then suddenly like you put the elbow inside, uh, outside or on the floor. So it's gonna be hard for you to attack the armbar. The only reason for him to get a nice armbar is because there are elbows inside. Okay, so understanding the armbar, the leverage. Uh, the only reason he can armbar me is because my triceps is between his legs. Okay, the top part of my arm. Once I put this out and you have just the form, there's no longer armbar because my elbow is here. Try to go armbar me. It's nothing, right? So he can't do that. But if my elbow is inside, that's when it's, it's dangerous. All right? Even when the arm is already stretched like this, Right? Let's say you are in the finals of Worlds, ah, oh, you're here. You can try to like push, bring the shin inside and start like taking the arm out like this. Like this is when it's too late, right? And of course, maybe you're gonna pop your elbow a little bit, right? Um, we, we are working, thinking about not getting injured, right? The best thing here, when you're training, if you stretch your arm, oh, okay, you gotta tap, right? You gotta reset and, and learn the lesson. But if there's something that, you know, man, there's like $40,000 prize, right? <laughs> or there's a world's gold medal, right? There's like, it's the finals, the last fight, right? So you need to, to find a way, right? So if he's going for the arm, I go, I'm like, here, I'm not gonna control this leg, because this leg here will keep here the whole time. He got a good leverage. Even if I take this leg out, he still have leverage to get the arm bar here, okay? I need to control the other leg. Even if he crosses his legs, cross your legs my, like this, I can find a space to put my top leg behind his knee and start like putting my elbow on the floor, okay? This is just for you to think about, okay? When it's too late. Now answering the question of uh, JP, he was like, oh, professor, it's really hard for me to bring this hand inside sometimes, but I don't find the space, okay? Even when their hand is not, in, not inside, you can still like, try to put the elbow inside here. You can still do that, okay? It's gonna be a little bit harder, but you can, okay? But what I like to do here, and actually I learned this with Mike, uh, from Mike, Lear, uh, when I'm here, I'm gonna come with this hand, look, very sneaky. I grab his pants here. I go and, and, and control his pants like this, like a spider guard grip. And now look, when I let go, stretch my arm, like, now he brings his leg up, okay? And when that happens, look, it's really hard for him to break this grip, okay? Now I can start working to escape. I use this all the time, and I feel like my, i never done this in tournaments, but in training, when, when I'm flowing and people get my arm and I do this, they got really frustrated and start laughing. Because, look, try to stretch my arm. He's, he's bringing his own leg here. More he stretch my arm, part his leg from my head, okay? And there's no leverage for him to, to do the upa and do the armbar. I'm like, he can't do anything here, okay? And it's very comfortable for my grip here, okay? It's, it doesn't hurt my, my wrist or anything. Very comfortable. Now, same thing, skinny. Put my leg inside, and I like to do this because when I put my shin inside, I can attack him. Or I can just simply come up like this. But when I come up, I feel that I'm inside his close guard, I'm inside his guard, right? So if I wanna come up, I'll come up, attack him. Like I go one, two, take my head out, and then I start. Attacking here. If you post, chop, elbow in his body, 
and then pass it to her. Okay? Same thing, but instead of putting the hand inside, I say, he closed his face. With the hand that's under the biceps, that's here, you grab the pants. And the way you grab the pants is always uh, doing this, like folding his pants like this. You gotta fold like this. Make a little glow for you. Yeah, again, so I'm here. Mike is there, I'm trying to put my hand inside. To stop, I go here. I grab his pants. Okay, once I grab his pants, I can let go. And he can try to go for the armbar. That's what I want. Or I can even just stretch my arm like this. Okay? Once I'm here, I'll push. And then start getting the leg drag. Okay? And when you come up for the leg drag, okay, try to not come up with your head first and then your hips. It's going to be hard for you to come up like this. Okay? Try to put your hand on the floor, come up with your hips first. Just like a hook start sweep. Hips first, then foot on the floor. Notice that I, when I lift my, before I lift my head, I go one, I put my foot on the floor, and at the same time I lift my head. Like this, okay? If you feel that your opponent is opening your elbow, sometimes they open your elbow like this, and they start throwing the legs over your uh, armpit, like this. Okay? So put your elbow here. Try to open my elbow. It's a little bit harder for you. So I put my knee over my elbow so I can lock more of my elbow. Okay? And when I come up, it needs to be one, two. Okay? It needs to be one, two. Okay? Really fast. Worst case scenario, this is more advanced. If my Really open my elbow like this, okay? I like to look outside and roll like this. And I start attacking his back, okay? And keep holding the collar the whole time because then when he tried to put his back on the floor to escape, he got trapped, okay? Turn around. So keep holding here the whole time because now he's trapped. If you let go, he's gonna escape, okay? So keep here. I like to go here. Attacking his neck already. Get the twister hook. Turn. Put the other knee underneath of him. Bring him back to the other side. And then start attacking the back or choke him up. Again. It's like, it's, uh, it's basic the way you skate me here. This is very simple to do. This grip, okay? But the end of the technique, you can do more advanced if you want. If you want to do more simple, push the leg, top leg, behind. Make sure you have this grip here first, then you put your elbow out. Now I start attacking the leg drag. Simple way to get the leg drag. Hips, foot on the floor, stand up. He pushes you, chop, Start catching the guard. Okay. Now more advanced. You start opening your elbow. It's hard for you to come up right now. Face outside and put your left shoulder, the same side of the arm that's controlling the collar on the floor. Like this. And then you foot roll, hook, and now you're gonna sink his hips between your hips. Like this. And then you step this leg over. Now I start attacking his, his neck. Two things you can do. Grab the collar to attack the back or there's something that I like to do here. It's kind of like little nasty but it works. Because sometimes when I go for his collar he starts closing the neck. Here I like to go here. I cross face him and I force him to give me the back and I come up like this. Because once I turn his head, he's obligated to roll, and I just come up. But sometimes when you grab the collar, there's a big bottle there. <clears throat> like sometimes I just like to cross face and force him to put his belly down, and I just follow him. You guys have any questions? All right? Okay, so don't forget that you need to grab the pants before you defend, okay? Let's go one, two, three.